Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we're just going to do a old favorite video. So I'm just gonna use a lot of old school makeup that are my favorites. A lot of this is drugstore. Um, so that's the look that we're gonna do today. So if this is your type of content, feel free, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer. So this is in Cucumber. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this. And then I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this. I've been using the primers first before I even start on my eyeshadows and things like that, just because I like it to soak into my skin while I'm doing my eyeshadow. That's what works for me, do what works for you. So I'm just taking this and applying this on my face here. And I'm kind of generous with this, being that it's in like a container here. I do have the other one as well, the Poreless Putty Primer. Um, but I noticed that one leaves my skin kind of oily. So I did get the matte one. Okay, and then for eyeshadow primer, I'm still using the Milani eyeshadow primer. So we're gonna use this today for eyeshadow. This is one of my holy grails. I like this one, and then I have one from Believe Beauty off from the Dollar General. I have one of those. And I have a couple other ones, but I really like the Milani. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend this in the lid. I hope everybody is doing well. It has been raining, so I think we're supposed to have rain for the next few days, so. But the weather is warming up, so I, I am enjoying that. I am glad for the weather to be warming up. Where are you guys watching from? Let me know where you're watching from. What's the weather like in your area? All right, so now that the primer is blended in, we're gonna go ahead and use the Profusion Starlet Palette. Um, this is like 35 shades. So yeah, I said we were going old school. I'm going old school today. So I love Profusion. Can never get enough of Profusion. I love their, you know, palettes and they're very pigmented. They have beautiful colors. So these are the colors here. All right. So I'm just going to pick out a couple or one or two transition shades here to put on my eyelid. And I think I'm going to use this brown and the next brown, like a lighter brown next to it. Oh, these are very pigmented. See what I'm talking about? But I think I'm gonna switch brushes here. Let me try something else. And try a little bit of the bigger brush here. And I don't know what look I'm going for today again. I do my looks free-handedly, so I just go with the flow. I like to match what I'm wearing with my eyeshadow, or I like to watch, I like to match my eyeshadow with what I'm wearing. I hope everybody is doing well. What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anything special? I think I'm gonna take this color, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna take this color here and maybe mix it with this one. See what I can create. Okay, so I like that. It's more like a neutral, kind of like purplish color a little bit. It seems that way. All right, so I like that color. That color is really pretty. It's kind of like a purplish, brownish type of color. I like those colors. So now I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna use my e.l.f. eye tapes. I have some eye tapes. I think I'm gonna do some um, winged liner with eyeshadow. I'm gonna try that out on camera and see how that goes. I'm not a pro with winged liner, so we'll see how this goes. 
practice makes perfect. So I know that they discontinued these e.l.f. liner strips, um, but I do know that a lot of brands, Ulta, Sephora, Amazon, you can get like strips like this and you can use it for your wing liner. So I'm gonna try this out here. All right, so when you look like this, then you know you're doing it correctly. So we're gonna see what happens. I haven't done, I haven't done this in a long time. So we're gonna see, I just gotta find me a little thin brush here. So I have me like a little angle brush here that I'm gonna use. We're gonna see what happens. All right, so I'm just gonna take this black over here, dip into it and try and create a wing. Again, these shadows are very pigmented. I like that. And I just take my um, my brush and I just go in like with, with the angle. So you see the brush is angled, so I just take it and follow it along from like midway of this strip here and go down, like create an angle right there and just blend it in. Hopefully I don't come out here looking like something crazy, but we'll see what happens. Because I want a wing, but I don't want it, I don't want to wing all the way to my ears either. So, and then I'm just gonna take the brush and I'm just gonna drag that eyeliner just a little bit all the way across my lid so it doesn't look so naked. Some people can pull it off where they only have eyeliner like halfway and it looks good on them. Me, I have larger eyes, so it's like I have to pull mine across all the way, just a little bit. All right, so there's that one. So we're gonna see how the next one looks. Let's see if we can get the left eye to look like the right eye. So if you guys have like old eyeshadows just sitting around, don't forget to show them some love. So there's like a shimmer purple right here. I'm gonna dip into it and then I'm gonna spray my brush. That looks really cute. I like that. I like the idea of spraying the brush too because it just brought it out more. I like that. That's pretty. See that? It's really pretty. I like that. So I was debating on like, do I want to do it like the full lid or do I just want to do it half the lid? But I like that. I like how that look is. I like how that turned out. All right, so I'm just going to do the next eye. Just dip it into the color and spray my brush again. So for mascara, I'm just gonna use the Essence Double Trouble Mascara. All right, so mascara is on. I'm just gonna take these eyeliner tapes off. Okay, you see that? Now that's cute. There you go. So you can't go wrong with winged liner tapes. So again, you can get them on Ulta, Sephora, Amazon, yeah, you're looking for those, just looking for um, eyeliner tapes and you'll find those and they're not expensive at all. But yeah, the shadow is very pretty, very pigmented. The eyeliner, it turned out wonderful doing the shadow trick with the eyeshadow. I think that turned out really well. And I am going to go ahead and pop on my lashes and then I will be right back. All right, so now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead in with my foundation. So today I'm gonna use Wet n Wild. Um, I do have two shades. I have caramel and I have cocoa. 
So being that I'm in between colors because summer is coming, I'm using two shades. I'm going to mix them and I'm actually going to be applying them with a sponge today. So I'm going to be blending them out with a sponge. I figured I'd switch it up. If I'm doing old school makeup, go ahead and switch it up the old school way as well. So I'm just going to shake these up here. All right. So I'm going in with caramel first. I'm just going to apply some of this on here. Put a couple stripes. And then again, I'm going to go in with cocoa. I think that's what it is. Yeah, cocoa. And I'm going to put a couple stripes on there as well. I know it looks a lot, but trust the process. Trust the process. I guess cocoa could be like my contouring color, but it's a foundation. So, Anywho, let me go ahead. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to blend out my foundation here. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm bringing my oldie but goodie back. And that one is, all right, so we're using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. And I have mine in Warm Honey. So this is it for my foundation twinsies. This is Warm Honey, this is what we're gonna use today. We're gonna let that, you know, marinate for a few minutes and then we're gonna blend it out. All right, so now that that has set in for a couple minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with the same sponge and see what happens here. I haven't done a sponge technique in a while, so I'm hoping it does well. I'm using this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Medium. So we're gonna use this, I'm gonna set my under eyes, and I will be setting my face later on with this as well. And I am taking my Real Technique Setting Powder Brush, like usual, and just using that to blend out the under eye. So now that the under eyes are set, I'm going to go ahead and set my face uh, with the same powder. And you can see powder is flying everywhere. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's flying everywhere over here. I'm just putting a little bit more on there. If you guys have like any video recommendations that you would like me to, you know, that you would like for me to do, or if you have any makeup looks or any foundation previews or looks or anything like that, eyeshadow, whatever, I'm not an artist, but if you have something you would like, you know, for me to try, let me know and I'll try it out. I'll do it to the best of my ability. All right. So now that that is on, we're going to go ahead and do bronzer, blush and highlight. So bronzer, I'm taking it back old school. So this is the Believe Beauty. I didn't really have anything that's like really old, like in my collection. Um, I don't want to say old like that, but like back in the day. I mean, I have Physicians Formula, but I use it a lot on my channel. So I figured I would give the Believe Beauty another chance here. So not even another chance, but I figured I'd give it another try. So we're going to go ahead and dip into that. And I have the shade Golden Sienna. So as you can see, it's pretty dark. Okay, so that one is on. And then blush, I have like two different palettes for blush. Um, I have, of course, the LA Girl, ooh, almost dropped my other palette. I have the LA Girl Island Hottie palette. So I have these tones here. So those are that, those are that, that is that. And then I do have one that is called Beauty in a Blink. Um, so this is the Glow Getter Face Palette. It's cute, Glow Getter. 
but these are you know these are really cute as well i was thinking about like using this palette for like maybe a couple of the blushes here and then use the island girl palette as well and then take the highlighter and use it as well so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take these three shades here and put them on my cheeks you see how pretty that is so there's that i'm also going to take the same brush and i'm going to use it in this palette here so I'm gonna take these two shades, probably these three shades right here and put these on. These are pretty. Oh yeah, very pigmented, see? And I'm putting on more than usual so you guys can see it on camera, but I'm sure you can see that now. You see how that is? Actually, it looks like I may need to blend that out. It's very pigmented, it looks like that darker color here really went on there really well so let's blend this out so when that happens just take your little foundation sponge or brush and blend that down a little bit because you don't want to be too red you know so so I'm just toning that down some with my sponge all right so I'm gonna take my highlighter brush and I am going to use the bottom I'm probably just gonna dip into all four of them why not so I'm just going to dip into all four, tap off the excess and see what happens. You guys know me, I like a bright shine anyway, so let's build it up some. There you go. See that? I'm sure you guys can see that now. All right, so I'm just going to do the same thing to the next side. I love that. It's so pretty. I like doing this. Like, I won't go out like this unless I'm like having like a special occasion or something. But I think it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right. So there's that. And then I'm just going to do my waterline. All right. So the lower lash line is line. I'm going to take that um, highlighter, that little highlighter palette that I just used. And I think I'm going to use that for my inner corner. I was going to use it out of the eyeshadow, but I changed my mind. So I'm going to use this highlighting palette here. All right. So I've done that with the inner corner. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take that same purple eyeshadow color and just drag it down under my lower lash line just so that it can match my eyeshadow on top. All right. So I'm just going to, again, dip into this purple here. I'm just gonna drag it down on my lower lash line. All right, so I'm just gonna use that mascara, the Essence Double Trouble Mascara. We're gonna use that again. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. All right, so I'm just taking my brush here and we're just gonna set the face. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. pencil. This one is in dark brown, I believe. All right, so one more thing before I'm finished with this video. Again, I thank you for staying here with me. Um, but I am going to use this CoverGirl eyebrow liner, and I have this one in soft brown. So I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows real quick, and then we will be finished. I'm just putting this on real quick. I like this because it's really thin. That is that. So we are finished with this video. More content loading. Please feel free to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. 
And thank you for sticking around in this video. As always, stay blessed.